Kicking Country 103.1. And everybody needs somebody. I do. I need Mary to be in here right now. And I need uh, Amanda to be in here right now. Good morning to both of you. I've got Mary Payton with the American Cancer Society and also Amanda Terry. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wore my makeup for you today. <laughs> you know what's funny is first time mary came in here and uh, we were uh, starting to uh, use our videos for blogs and everything she said you should have told you didn't tell me nothing about this i know i have to get dressed now like i can't just come in here without me this is early for me <laughs> see we're gonna be, early we'll blog about this after a while folks you can see you can see mary and terry uh, uh, or Amanda, you'll see them both up on our website. So just look for that a little bit later on here this morning. Now, Mary, let's start off with you. I want to talk about, uh, uh, what's going on with the American Cancer Society. And, uh, I'd like for you to explain a little bit too, as far as, uh, what our American Cancer Society does here locally and that sort of thing. Absolutely. That's what I'm here to do. So, and the biggest thing is that everybody in our town knows what Relay for Life is. We've got over 100 teams at our relay, over 1,000 participants. We're the second largest event in the state of Texas. No big deal, right? Um, we're huge That's into cool. relay. We need yeah. to stand on that. I tell people every time, I, I'm like, it's no big deal. Like, we're, we're kind of a big deal, right? Um, so I love, you know, our town loves to relay. They really do. They really get behind it. They really support it. First Financial Bank here in town just got listed as one of the top 50 teams in our division. But our division encompasses Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and Hawaii, and Guam. So to be listed as number one of the top 50 teams in that large of a territory is a big deal. Huge, yeah, right? absolutely. Um, so we love the Brooke and uh, Michelle over at First Financial. They lead that team. They do amazing things. And um, Relay is great, but it's only a small portion of what ACS does. We are very, very fortunate here in San Angelo to have an office. And I tell people all the time, come use it. Come see us. We love visitors, right? Right. And some of the things that we provide is, you know, you come in our office and first you're going to get greeted by the sweetest little puppy dog you'll ever meet in your life. She's this little beagle mix. Her name is Daisy. And the reason that we have her in this office is so, you know, a lot of times when patients are coming in, they're kind of, they've either just found out or they're, they're, you know, going, they're starting to lose their hair. Right. You know, and so they're mm -hmm. probably not feeling the best. So when they walk in and they see Daisy, she is wagging her little tail and she's happy to see him. And I've never had somebody walk into that office that wasn't excited to see her. Yeah. And uplifting. Very uplifting. And so that, you know, that's just one thing that we do from the minute she walks in the door um, or that you walk in the door. And then, you know, we take you into the back and we set you up with wigs. And the biggest thing with that program is that there are no income requirements. Anybody that hears the words, you have cancer. In our opinion, you're entitled to the same things. D despite the fact if you make $20,000 or if you make $100,000, it doesn't matter how much money you make, you're still going to get the same services. Right. Um, and so wigs is something that we provide here locally right out of our office. We also provide um, rides to treatment. Sometimes we've got folks that can't get to and from treatment because, you know, maybe they've got family that are busy. Maybe they've got friends that are busy. We've got volunteers right here in San Angelo that, are, that they're going to take care of you. They're going to make sure that you get to and from treatment because the last thing we want is somebody getting behind the wheel after they've just under, undergone chemo, right? Mm -hmm. um, in addition to, we've got a lot of people that will travel to San Antonio, Dallas, and even Houston for um, their treatment. You know, MD wow. Anderson is one of the biggest. All the way to Houston? Oh, uh, you've absolutely. got people that will shuttle people that far? Well, they won't shuttle people, but uh, we've, well, we've got people that, you know, depending on, but we provide those hotels for those people. Okay. Completely yeah. free of charge. So you're already having to pay for treatment. You know, you're having to get there. You know, we don't want you to have to worry about those fees that we can take care of. You know, we're going to set you up in a hotel. Right. Um, we actually just broke ground on MD Anderson property to build what we call a Hope Lodge. Very similar to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, but the Hope Lodge is somewhere where cancer patients and their caregivers can stay completely free of charge. It's right there on an MD Anderson property. I um, mean, we just broke grand, ground on that. We have them all over the nation. That is great. That's Absolutely. wonderful. Um, and if, you, if we don't have a Hope Lodge there, we're going to take care of you and get you in a hotel room completely free of charge. Um, so those are just some of the things. One of the things that I preach about more than anything is our 1-800 number. And it is based out of Austin, but it is a 24-hour a day, seven day a week. We do not close. Um, because the one thing that I like to tell people is most of the time when a cancer patient is kind of starting to have that anxiety, those concerns, those worries, it's not between the hours of 8 and 5 when an office is open. It's going to be at 2 a.m. when they can't sleep. Mm -hmm. So at 2 a.m. when you can't sleep, you can pick up the phone. You can call this number, and these folks are going to answer any questions you have. Um, 
they're going to ask questions to find out what's really going on. Because sometimes you make that phone call and you're like, well, tell me about chemo, but you're really wanting to know, when is my hair going to fall out? You know, yeah. that's what you're really, and these are people go through extensive training to know how to talk to these folks. We have oncology nurses on call. We have people that help with health insurance. Um, maybe, you, you know, you just got diagnosed and you're like, I don't know what to do about my insurance. Like, I might not have insurance. They're going to take care of you. And it's so much more than be like, oh, go to this website. They do it for you. They it's, take care of it right there. They're right not gonna, then and there. They're not going not gonna to send you round and round to somebody else, to somebody else, somebody exactly. else. Exactly. And so it's really great. And these are services that you get from the comfort of your own home. You know, you get that from your, your living room couch. And right. uh, so I brought a friend with me today. Amanda Terry has been an avid relayer for many years. Um, in addition to that, she is a breast cancer survivor. Um, she's also a very dear friend of mine. So I was very excited um, when she offered to come tell her story to the entire town of San Angelo. No pressure. Um, so I want to let everybody kind of know on a personal level, you know, what ACS has done for one of our local survivors. So if you want to go ahead and share your story, go and for Amanda, it. I've known you for a long time, and I remember when you were going through that treatment as well. So yes, please uh, share with the Concho Valley. Yes, sir. Good morning. Um, I was a fel- I was a relayer for years, um, just supporting the cause. Thankful that... Um, Everybody that I knew was getting through and not having any problems. And then you, I heard the words, myself, you have cancer. Uh, the room I was sitting in shrunk to the size of about a closet very quickly. Um, you're overwhelmed. You're scared. Um, and uh, the day after I was diagnosed, I was looking for that support system and immediately thought of my Relay for Life team and American Cancer Society. And I did. I made that phone call to our local business here our local office here, and they just, I mean, like talking to a best friend. Any questions, concerns I had, they just took me in and loved me regardless. And, you know, and and it was always that way even before, but now it's so much, so much different. Um, she, Mary was right. In the middle of the night is when you have that fear and that anxiety, and you want somebody to cry on somebody's shoulder and that person answers that phone and they are truly your best friend while you're on that phone. They give you every bit of information and they talk you talk with you and I mean let you tell them just how your day was and why you're sitting at 2 a.m. crying on the phone with them. They don't care. They are there for you 100% no matter what. Um, American Cancer Society helped uh, my husband and I out greatly. We, uh, I chose to do a double mastectomy and a deep flap reconstructive surgery down in San Antonio and American Cancer Society paid for our hotel rooms. Wow. I mean, hotel rooms that were $200 a night. Yeah. They paid for those free of charge. I did not have to cover a thing. And you that had was, enough to worry about without having to deal with that. Correct. You are very correct. And they just, I mean, without even fail, they just stepped up to the plate and totally, totally helped us out when When we were down, they picked us back up very quickly and we would not be, you know, as successful in this without, without the help from our local community and the Relay for Life and American Cancer Society. Thank you so much for sharing that. And like I say, I remember when you got it and I remember when you beat it and I am so proud for you. Two years, Chuck, two years. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me come in. Thank you, Mary, for asking me to come in and tell my story and encourage those to get out there and understand what American Cancer Society really does in the everyday life of a cancer survivor because it really can change your life. Thank you for sharing with us. And Mary, that is just one of numerous success right. stories yeah yeah one of numerous you know we've got 250 survivors that show up at this event every year so um let me tell you about the event really quick we are getting ready to kick off in january uh we are currently open for registration you can register survivors caregivers teams relayforlife.org put in tom green county you will find us if you have any questions concerns or issues give me a call at the office i will be there 944-2500 and we're excited we're ready to relay